Hello friends, and welcome to Storytime with Miss Macintosh. So not that long ago, we read a book called Pinkalicious. And it was about a little girl who ate pink cupcakes and turned pink. And then we read a book called Silverlicious with three silver coins. Alright, so I have one more story for us to read together about, about that little girl. And it's called Goldalicious. Now, you might have already read this story, and that's okay. We're going to read it together again today. So you might already know what this book is about. Put up your little finger if you've already read it, or if you think you know what this book is about. Oh, well, some of you do. And there's a little hint on the cover of our book about what Goldalicious might be. Mm, I think it's going to be about this unicorn. Mm, let's open the book and find out if we're right. I was putting flowers on the mane of my pet unicorn. Pinkalicious, why are you dropping flowers on the rug? Asked Mummy. Oh, she looks very pretty. Ooh. I wonder if this unicorn is a toy or if Mummy and Daddy and Peter can see the, gold, the golden unicorn or not. Let's see. I'm not dropping flowers. I'm getting Goldie ready for the unicorn ball, I said, prancing around the room. What unicorn? I don't see a unicorn, said Peter. She's right here, and she's not any unicorn. She's my unicorn. Her name is Goldalicious, Goldie for short. Oh, Goldie, you shouldn't have done that on the floor. You know better. Just nay when you need to go to the potty. I'm sorry, Peter, but you are stepping right in it, I said. Mommy, what is Pinkalicious talking about, whined Peter. Doesn't look like he's really stepping in anything. I think this unicorn might be in her imagination. Let's see. Well, Mommy doesn't look too happy. Pinkalicious, it's okay to have an imaginary friend. But maybe it's time to put Goldie back in her stall or take her outside of the house where she can run free. Okay, Mommy. Come on, Goldie. We know where we aren't wanted, I said, galloping out the door. I took Goldie out to her perfect pinkerific purette. Goldie is very graceful and has a wonderful sense of balance. We were thinking of joining the Majestic Magenta Ballet, but there are only a few extremely special and unique people who can see Goldie, namely me. Oh, so she's the only one that can see Goldie. Oh, they both have ballerina skirts on. Oh, and there's Peter peeking out the window. Goldie is also a pinktastic roller skater, kite flyer, and high jumper. She's very fast. I can never keep up with her. Goldie, wait for me. Oh, they're both, they're all roller skating. But the unicorn needs two pairs because she has four legs. Oh, and there's Peter peeking again. I wonder where they're going to go. Goldie, where are you? She loves to play hide and seek, but she is too quick for me. As soon as I spot her, she is gone. Can you spot her? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, she's out. Shh. There she is. Can you spot Peter? Mm -hmm. There he is, peeking again. Oh, you turned into a fairy princess, and you are having a tea party. Go delicious, this is the most delicious cake I have ever had. And where did you ever find this sweet flower nectar? Oh, there's some drinks in their cups. Pink delicious, may I join you for your tea party? Peter asked. Please, Peter, you are about to sit on Goldie. Be careful, I scolded. 
Here is a little cinnamon stick for your tea, said Peter. That's a worm! Now you have insulted our host. You better watch out. I don't think anybody wants a worm in their tea. Or their sweet flower nectar. Because Goldie will always protect me, I shouted. Not if I kidnap her and hold her prisoner in the castle tower. Oh, what's going to happen? Beware, fair sister, or your golden pet will become broth for my magical cauldron. Peter yelled down from the treehouse. Don't worry, Goldie. I will rescue you from the wandering wizard, I said. Pink delicious, you must gaze into this crystal ball as I cast a spell, Peter chanted as he threw a ball over the side of the treehouse. Abra Kadabra Abra Kadabra Wizard out pirate in Ahoy, matey Gold Delicious will never become your treasure. I will make you walk the plank. I suddenly realized that Gold Delicious was nowhere to be seen. Hey, Peter! Where did she go? Uh-oh. She's not hiding in the house. Let's see. Oh, I don't see her either. Can you see her? Let's see. Look! She turned into a mermaid! Peter pointed to Gold Delicious. Oh, that is just her dress-up outfit. She's not a real mermaid. She's just pretending, I told Peter. Oh, it sounds like Peter is using his imagination so he can see her, too. Wow, not only can she float on water, she can float in the air. Gold Delicious is flying, said Peter. Come back, I shouted. Will she come back tomorrow? I'm going to find my lasso so I can catch her in the morning when I wake up, said Peter. That's if you could find her, I yelled as Peter ran off. And there she goes. Goldie, where did you go? Have you become one with the universe? Oh, who can see Goldie? She's a cloud. Pink delicious. It's time to go to bed. Come in now, bellowed voices from the door. Perhaps Goldie is hiding from the mean sorcerers who have come to take me to the dungeon, I said loudly. Pink delicious. We heard that. Oh, pardon me. I meant Sir Daddy and Lady Mummy, ruler supreme and gracious guardians of the Princess of Pink. No! Okay, okay, I'm coming to bed. But I don't know where Goldie is, and she will miss me if I don't pet her good night. Now, where's Gold Delicious? There she is. She's a star constellation. Oh, she was right here waiting for me all along, I said, climbing into bed and closing my eyes. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow, Mommy and Daddy said, kissing us both. Good night. Ooh, that sounds like a very fun day for Gold, for Pink Delicious to be playing with her brother and Gold Delicious. So if you use your imagination, you can come up with lots of fun games too. All right, thank you for joining me, friends, and I'll see you next time on Story Time with Miss Macintosh. Bye bye.